Hey y'all, Uncle Eddie coming at you. Hi. I survived. Surgery went well. Um, I'm home. Come home, golly, like three hours after. Um, I'm sore. You know, I'm, uh, I'm alright. Slept. Just taking Tylenol as needed. Um, uh, mostly to take the edge off it. I'm not trying to, I'm not going to kill all the pain because, nah. Pain, pain's good for you. It may let you know that you're still alive above ground, which is always a good thing. Or not a, not a, you know, whatever. But, um, I wanted to, it's really kind of like a, a thank you and a shout out to, um, uh, the area of the hospital that I went to, Title Health, and, and their program, um, so I got a couple names I got read off here because I can't remember them all. I'm still a little groggy. Not terrible. I mean, not from that. Just I'm just tired. And, uh, and of course, I've been talking to my sister and, and family. And so we've loaded it up. I've done the most social media I've ever done in God knows how long. Probably ever. But um, so, uh, Dr. Dudas, thank you for you and your surgical team for the awesome job that you did. Um, I thank you very much. I know you've done like when I went to the ER. I I think his name the the ER doctor on call was uh, a Doctor Cody. I think he was either Doctor Cody or Doctor Toby. It was Cody Toby. I I forget what his name. Is. Real nice guy, young too, boy. He wasn't, but he couldn't been more than twenty eight tops, you know. But he knew his stuff, and he was he was good to me and. And so was the, the nursing staff there at the, at the ER and, um, um, and the technician who did my ultrasound who found that mammoth gallbladder in my gallstone, or that gallstone in my gallbladder. There you go. Oh, man, that's bad. I, I'm trying not to laugh, but I just had that thought, like, remember that Reese's Peanut Butter Cup commercial? You got my chocolate, my peanut butter. It's like, you got my gallstone in my gallbladder. <laughs> bad. Oh. Can't do that. Anyway, sorry. Tangent run. I'm still doing that. That will never change. But, um, so, uh, yeah, thank all them for everything they did. They did a nice job. And I, when, is it, when do I see him again? I get to see him on May 31st. See how well things are going. A little lo lo laparoscopic surgery. They removed. So they put four little holes in me. Now, hold on. Oh, I'm going to check. Or I'm going to show you. It's all good. I know I'm in the garage. I know I'm not rolling around in the dirt and everything's all covered up. But there it is. Now I got this other one down here because I don't want lint ball. My, I swear my belly button has teeth in it. And at night it eats the insides of my shirts because all my shirts are right down in that area. Or either got holes in them or thin. I don't know what's going on down there. But eat the shirts. Don't eat me. I'll be happy. So, um, and then there's all the, like, the intake, uh, when I did my registration, Miss, Miss Maria, thank you very much, and thank you for your kindness, and, and, um, I, I still smiled, even though I was having it done, and I, I'm, I'm happy that, that I'm, I had to deal with this pain no more, I mean, the pain I was dealing with, this is nothing, this, this hurts, but it ain't like it, oh, golly, y'all, I just, and everybody we talked to, like my mom was with me, and Dad dropped off my uh, my package to uh, UPS for an item I sold. Yay! Always a bonus. Dropped that off. So um, while we were doing that, and then there's the pre-operative staff, Cassie, and what was that name? Sherry, Sher Sharika, Sharika. Oh yeah, Sharika. And and Megan, thank you all for that. Everything you did. Uh, the o, oh, there's the OR team. Jenny, Caitlin, and Angie. I guess it's the surgical team. Like I said, thank you for the awesome work and taking good care of me and everything. Everything's going right. Um, had dinner. Um, oh, and then and then the recovery and post anesthesia team. Tracy, Olivia, and Lisa. Um, and Miss Tracy, 
But everything everything came out great. I got home and I'm I'm good. Um, a lot of water coming out of this system. Let me tell you. I'm just gonna say that. Um, but but Miss Tracy wants to. She she knows the area a little bit and wants to come down to. I'm not. I swear. I'm not really. I'm not really busting your job. It's kind of cute though. She wants to go to Raccoon Beach. It's Raccoon Point actually. But there's a little beach down there and and stuff and 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 bring your little doggies and so yeah. Come on down. You know. I, I'm I'm thrilled and and they're so nice and they and they just. It, You know, I know, I know it's what they're supposed to do, but like nursing and all is a, and, and, and being a doctor is a call. It's a, it's, it's who you are, you know, it's, it's, I don't think it's even a choice. I think it's something you just, you know, it's party and you got to do like my sisters, both my sisters, their daughters are in nursing. My, my sister, uh, uh, Ann, my oldest sister, Ann, she's a nurse. You know, and um, and she um, works at a, a, a school nurse for you know uh, as a school nurse. I mean, for for I think it's I'm not sure if it's all for I don't think it's all for special needs. I think it's for everybody. Um, but and she's amazing, and uh, and we were we've been talking for quite a few hours. And then my, and her son, uh, DJ, he works for Hanger Corporation. So, you know, it's, um, the prosthetic, uh, limbs for people who, you know, either lost their limbs through, uh, through trauma or, or were born without limbs or, or maybe had to have them removed for whatever reason. Um, so that's awesome. Um, my sister Susan um, she's, I, I, I guess it, I guess it's, a, I'm not sure if it's official yet or not. I hope I'm not writing you out, but, um, I think she's going to become assistant dean at Villanova, which is freaking awesome. And, uh, so, but both of her daughters are in like ER trauma and, and, and trauma nurse. And I forget what Billy does. I feel really bad. I know he does something amazing too. I just can't think of what it. I I haven't seen him in, in quite some time. Matter of fact, not since. God, when the last time I seen him? When they all came down. I don't remember. It's been a while. Oh, well, I I know he just got through COVID. Actually, him, his wife, and and the baby and Pearl. But they're okay. They got through it and they're good to go. So that's a good thing. Um. But I'm grateful, uh, more than you know, more than I can say in words, man. It just, like I said, this this hurts now, but it's not. You know, it's good. It's not swelling. It's not heated. I'm not on a fever. Fluids are going through, um, and stuff. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say, and stuff, and um, you know, I. A little bit of walking, make sure I get the air out of my system, and make sure that I, you know, that I, I heal at a, at a, a, a timely rate, and, you know, it, you get the good ones, you do what they tell you, they know what they're doing, it's what they do, it's what they're passionate about, it's what they love, and, and, uh, if, if you're meant to do it, then you're meant to do it, you know, like, I, I like helping people, it's what I was built for, man, it's what the creator made me for. And I love doing it. And I'm hoping, I'm praying that we can get through this nonsense, this craziness. We got to, we got to get through this. I, I want to go back to helping people, but I I won't put mom and dad at risk. I, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't do it, you know, I, and I got a lot of work. I, well, I got to get well so I can take care of the rest of this stuff. I got a lot of work to do, y'all. You just don't know. I, should, I wish I was about 10 years younger, but... I'm not, so, I'm, you know, I'm uh, um, doing well, losing weight, um, my sister and I are talking, um, my, um, you know, because she's like, I, I, she's an RN, I think, registered, yeah, she's registered, 
or CNA or I, I don't know all the terms. Sorry, I'm not a nurse. I don't know. Um, but she quit smoke. She used to smoke, and that's my next goal is to quit smoking. I gotta stop, man. I guess it's it's just gonna create more problems for me down the road. And and now that I'm 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 losing weight, and it's not even intense. I'm eating right, and I'm not. You know, now that I'm on this diet, I'm just gonna stick with it. There's no point not to. You know, I mean, you gotta have some some fats, but I really eliminated a lot out of my diet, and I feel fantastic. Like I walk like at least. It had to be somewhere between four and five miles the other day. And I got home and I wasn't tired and wasn't, I was sweaty, but it felt good. I feel good about myself. And, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it, I, I treat it, I'm treating it like, like my recovery, you know. And it, it's possible, man. You just got to want it. It has to be. You know, we, we all can better our lives, but you have to want it, and you have to be willing to do what needs to be done. That's how I see it. So, uh, yeah. So, um, thank you for the get well soon, the card, and they all signed it, put their name on it, and that's nice, man. It's, I, I thank each and every one of you, everybody at the hospital, and, and everybody, I mean everybody, um, who does everything, man? All those things that the what people call a medial job, like cleaning the floors and taking care of the. Um, God, I wish I could drive. I totally apply to 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 work in a hospital to uh, to do the maintenance part, to do the the painting of the walls, the rebuilding the building, all that stuff, man. However, I could help. You know, I'm grateful, man. More more than you know. Yeah, I'm getting all emotional. Oh, I can't do it because it hurts. <laughs> oh, that hurts too. Dang on it. Oh, stop it, Edward. Uncle Eddie, don't do it. I know it. But, um, so I'm going to get out of here and go inside and crash in my chair and go through these video. And so I'll upload yesterday's and today's and then I'll, I'll, um, and then we'll see what's after that. I might be, you might, I might do some older ones. I got lots of video to go through. So I'm not going to be doing a whole lot. And, uh, until I'm bitter. And then, um, and then it'll be, you know, baby steps. Little bitty, little teeny tiny. Yeah. Until I get to where I need to be. Get back to where I, you know, may, well, hopefully better back than what I was. But I should, hopefully I'll be thinner and. And purtier. Sorry. Can't help myself. Once a once a ham, always a ham. There you go. But um you know, look out for one another, each other, you know, if you if you're feeling ill and all that stuff and, and or whatever, go go get yourself checked out, man. Don't wait, man. Fellas, go and get your get checked out, man. Get your uh go get scoped, man. They say it's like 45 now but 40 45 do it man don't wait man just just go and do it get it done yeah if you gotta get your bladder out it hurts but it's not the end of the world you know you can do this so um i will see you all soon god bless and i'm out of here